What's happening, everybody? Time to uh, make a video to show some people how to use, or basically how to download and install Game Guardian on your cell phone. Not worrying about Blue Stacks, none of that other junk, but mainly dealing with uh, Android cell phone. Uh, doesn't really matter that it is, but it kind of does a uh, Samsung version cell phone. But it, it, anybody with an Android is going to be all the same thing. So, kind of start this off. First thing you're going to have to do, log in, get on Google, and look for GameGuardian.net. I'll put a link to this in, uh, in the description. But once you select it, you're going to go to there. It'll pull up, look something about like this. You're going to want to press download Game Guardian. Make sure it's the, the newest up-to-date version. So, let's go ahead and download it. Scroll down here, just like some of the other videos show. Make sure you're on the newest version. And I'll get into some of the other technical crap here in a minute, but agree to all this, uh, basically saying uh, that it's uh, cool to use and it's not going to crash your phone. Huh, yeah, right. Anyway, when you come to this screen, if you got a Samsung phone, you're going to press... The one that says for Knox, Bluestacks APK. If you don't have a Samsung, if you have an LG, anything else, you can use the top one, but the bottom one will work also. Since I'm on a Note 10, let's download the one for the Knox version. Give it permission, let it download. Once it downloads, let's open. Allow from this source. Press back, install, open it up, give it all the permission it wants. Alright, right here, everything we do nowadays is 64-bit. There are some other games that are 32-bit, but for dealing with Fortnite, uh, CSR, Real Racing, you're going to want to go to 64-bit. Right here, go to settings, allow from this source, go back, press install. Continue. Everything's built for an older version. Everything's updating quicker than we can uh, roll this stuff out. Press OK. OK. Right here. If your phone's rooted, press root. It's over. If you're not rooted, you're going to press no root. Now it's going to tell you you got to go download a virtual space. So, let's go back. I'm going to put a link to the virtual space that I use, but you can use quite a few of them. I've, I've gotten used to using virtual expose. I've, I've gotten pretty used to using it. Uh, it works for me. Might not work for you. You might have to trial and error this part, but download virtual expose. Same scenario. Download this file. And remember, 64-bit. So we're doing the bottom one. And nowadays, everything can harm your computer and cause it to crash. That's why they got to let you know. All right, open it up. Install. Open. This little doodicky here, you can just kind of bypass that. All right, press on them little six buttons down there. As you see, if I scroll up, I got nothing installed. So, we press on these little six buttons. First thing you want to do is go to Advanced Settings. 
at the top install uninstall Google services press OK takes a minute it's installing Google services and some other stuff that later on I'll teach you about so now that that's done let's go back now we want to add apps so of course give it permission allow what we want to do when we come to this screen is find what games you want to mess with CSR you also want to find Game Guardian, which we installed earlier, which is right there. And Fortnite. Sounds good. You can also add, I think I got Real Racing on here. There we go. I'll do those three. Install right here. Press Virtual Expose. All right, it's installed all the files successfully. Don't take that long, maybe less than a minute. Press done. Now I can scroll up. You can see everything that I got installed. And it's ready to be used. Uh, if you want to go do something with CSR, first you want to open up. See how it's got two different types of Game Guardian, H4 and S4. You got hardware and software. Always use software. Always use the one with the S. Open it up first. Give it all the permissions to where it'll have floating icons and everything else. It's going to ask you probably to restart once we get back to it. Boom, restart it. Open back up. I don't feel like donating to you. Now, open Game Guardian back up. Press Start. Open up CSR Racing. The first couple times you use it, it might crash because the game might detect Game Guardian. If it's cool, if it happens cool, just open everything back up, let it load up. But right here, it's loaded up. It's ready to rock and roll. Select your process, and you can uh, go on doing whatever you do with Game Guardian from here. I'll make another video for that. Any questions, anything, you know how to get me.